Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kabusex. We are bringing you another Injustice 2 video, and today we're going to be doing something very different, actually. Today we're going to be reviewing and talking about the very first issue of the Injustice 2 official comic book. And right before we jump into it, if you'd like to see me do more of these and review more and more of the Injustice 2 series as a whole, if you leave a like on this video, that shows to me that you want to see more. So yeah, leave a like rating and that would prove to me that you guys want to see more and more episodes of this. And with that said, let's jump in, let's review and talk about the official first issue of the Injustice 2 comic book. So the opening of the comic starts out with this dialogue and this conversation that's happening between Batman and Superman. Currently Superman is imprisoned and he's talking to Batman and explaining to him that, you know, what he did, all the things that he did, yeah, he regrets some of it, but to an extent he still believes that what he was doing was the right thing. And he did something for the world for the better. Right now Batman is saying to him that he's going to try and reshape the world, he's going to try and do something right and bring the world back to where it was, but Superman's like, do you really want to bring it back to that place? Do you really want to bring it to where it was? Because it wasn't all that great before. It's a really great moment. It's probably my favorite moment in the entire first issue. And you can definitely just see Tom Taylor's writing just oozing off the pages here. I'm very excited to see him writing the rest of the series. It's overall just a great opening to the issue. There is a mention too towards the end of the conversation where Superman tells Batman, he's like, you have nobody left. They're all gone. All Alfred's gone. All the Robins. And then he names off the Robins. He says Dick. And we see that shot of Batman holding Dick Grayson, holding Nightwing after what happened during the Injustice Gods Among Us comic. He mentions Tim Drake. He mentions Jason Todd. And we see in the panel a portion of it of the Joker beating Jason Todd with the crowbar. So that's very interesting actually because does this confirm that you know, Jason Todd's never become Red Hood yet in the Injustice universe. I mean, as far as I know, he was nowhere to be found in the Injustice Gods Among Us comics, and there was no real mention of him. So that's very interesting. That definitely leaves that door open to any sort of possibilities of maybe Red Hood joining the game and having some sort of story arc there. I don't know if he's going to be a part of the main roster, but we'll have to wait and see. The comic book then shifts its focus onto Harley Quinn. She's in the Arrow Cave, or as it's now called, the Quiver, and she's talking to somebody on the phone. I'm not entirely sure who that is, but whoever she's talking to, she does make mention that she wants to talk to her daughter. This is the first bit of information that we got about the fact that Harley Quinn does have a daughter in the Injustice canon, and I wonder if that's actually going to play a part in the actual game's story with her character. It's going to be very interesting to see what goes down there, but she says, you know, it's her birthday, she wants to talk to her. She doesn't say directly she wants to talk to her daughter, but that is very heavily implied, and I believe it was mentioned previously that Harley Quinn does have a daughter in the Injustice canon now. Her phone call is then interrupted as an alarm goes off in the quiver and she's scrambling to find out what happened, what's going on, why did this alarm go off, and then an explosion goes off and none other than Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg, and a bunch of other men arrive and they are trying to take Harley Quinn in. She makes an attempt to escape and in doing so she is shot down by the man who never misses himself, Deadshot. She then wakes up dazed and confused and is told that she's had a bomb planted in her brainstem and then she is officially welcomed and inducted into the Suicide Squad and we get this beautiful wide shot in the last panel of the entire Suicide Squad. We got Deadshot, Captain Cold, Calendar Man, Katana, Captain Boomerang, Killer Croc, all sorts of different members from different DC lore and this is it. Now we have the Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn is an official member of the Suicide Squad forcefully working for Amanda Waller. This is going to be really interesting to see what goes down now for the future of the Injustice comics, and it seems like they're trying to tell a little bit of their own story, but still keeping it to its core about the Injustice storyline. We got that bit in the beginning with Superman and Batman, and of course there was that conversation between Batman and Harley Quinn, so lots of really interesting things going on here. This first issue didn't blow me away, but it was a nice introduction bringing me back into the world and introducing me to some new characters as well as some old ones. So I'm very excited to see what goes down, where we're going to be going from here. Overall, a worthy first issue for the Injustice 2 series, and I'm very excited to see what Tom Taylor has in store, as he is, of course, the writer of the series. But with that said, let me know what you guys think. Did you read Injustice 2 issue 1? I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Once again, if you can leave a like on this video and share your support, it would show to me that you want to see more of these kinds of videos in the future. I'm Caboose XBL, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.